Today we are back with another highly requested tutorial. This one is for the mountain cabin in my Minecraft 1.8 in survival world. And today we're going to be doing this one a little bit different. So as you can see, we are not running any shaders at the moment. So please let me know in the comments, what do you think of doing tutorials without shaders? I know there's been a lot of requests for it, so we're going to give it a try. So please let me know in the comments whether you prefer it or if you'd rather me use the shaders. We will be doing an overview at the end with the shaders. But for now, here are the materials and the resources you're going to need. Well, let's build this. Let's start with strip dark oak logs and we're going to add our pillars. On the right hand side, we're going to add two six block high pillars on the side by our door. For the middle of the build, we're going to add four nine block high pillars. On the left hand side of the build, we're going to add two ten block high pillars. From the top of the smallest pillars, let's add a beam and connect it to the right hand side of the build. Moving one block down, we're going to go ahead and continue all the way around the rest of the build. Around the bottom of the walls, we're going to fill in a foundation with our cobbled deep slate. This will run around the same part as our beams. Using our spruce planks, we're going to go ahead and fill in a floor on the ground level. Using a combination of tough cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, go ahead and fill in the lower levels of the walls. We will come back and break out some doors and windows once we're done. Let's go ahead and break out some doors and windows. Starting on the side with our door here, we're going to break a three block high gap by two blocks wide. Leave a one block gap and we're going to add a two block by two block window here. Break the blocks above and replace them with stairs. Round to the other side of the build, we're going to go ahead and we're going to break one, two, three windows like so. We're going to replace the bottom blocks with some stairs and the top ones with some upside down stairs. On the left hand side over here, we're going to do the same thing, breaking one, two, three windows and replace the bottom ones with stairs and the top ones with upside down stairs. On the fifth block up, go ahead and add in your next flooring using spruce planks. Now we're going to add some balconies. Starting from this side here, we're going to add a row of planks all the way across this gap here, making sure that we don't come to the edge here. What we're going to do is add some upside down stairs and bring them all the way around to the opposite side. Then coming over to this corner here, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, running our planks all the way down to this block here, getting our upside down stairs and running them all the way down to this side here. Next, we're going to add our upper level walls with dark oak planks, making sure that it only comes up four blocks higher from the floor.
On the walls that connect to the balconies, be sure to break out some two block wide windows and doors and then add an upside down stair above them. Next we will add some fences for our balconies and then go ahead and fill in our windows with the full glass block sitting one block behind the actual window. Next, add in some double doors using spruce doors and add some trap doors above it to fill in the gaps. On the right side balcony, we're going to add a little area for a planter. Let's go ahead and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the center block. We will surround it with some oak trap doors. Place some flowers in the top. Underneath at each side, we're going to add some fences and bring them all the way down to the ground. Then in the three in the middle, we're going to add some trap doors, just like so. Using our slabs, let's start marking out our roof. On the main section that sticks out at the front here, we're going to come down to the lower half of the block here and we're going to place one, two and three blocks and then break these two just here. This is the marking for the edge of our roof. We'll bring it out by one, and then by one more and then we're going to bring in one out one up one out one up all the way until we reach the center point of the roof which should be somewhere about here on the side here we're going to do the same thing placing in our slabs breaking these two bring it out until we are one block in front of our fence and then we're going to step it up all the way up to the middle joining our roof just here now, go ahead, get your fences, and from the corner here, we're just gonna bring it up by two, by three blocks. One, two, three. Now, we're gonna go ahead, repeat this all the way down to the back. So we're gonna bring this one all the way down to the back. At the back of the build, however, we're just gonna leave a one block gap and bring it overhanging by one so that we have this one block gap here and then we're going to repeat the same shape for the roof. In the middle we're going to go ahead and just connect a beam all the way across from the front to the back of the build. Now down at the side here we're going to do something very similar. We're going to start on the lower half of the log, leave a one block gap and we're going to start from just here. Bring it out until we overhang this front hedge by just one block. We'll bring it over and again we're going to repeat that same pan coming over to the center point of the roof. This side here will do exactly the same thing. And then join them to a center point. Now coming over to the other side of the build over here, we're going to do pretty much the same shape, but this is going to blend into the top of our other roof. So coming from here, we're going to go one, two, three, and break these two. We're going to overhang until we are one block over the edge of this balcony, which would be three blocks out. We're going to start sloping our roof all the way up. until we reach the side of this window here. Once we're in line with this window, we wanna go one more, and then we're gonna start bringing it down.
This will allow us to connect straight into the top of the roof from here. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way down to the back of the build. At the back of the build here, again, we're going to overlap by one, leave a one block gap, and then repeat the roof to exactly the same point. We'll bring a strip all the way from the center all the way down. And then make sure that we join up just here. And then we're going to start sloping it down until we join the center piece of the other roof. Perfect. Heading over to the left side of the build, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to add in a beam all the way across from this bit all the way to this point here. We're going to join this side across as well and then bring this one all the way down until we reach this wall here. And we're going to just stop there. Now, go ahead and get your deep slate tiles. We're going to be using the four blocks and the slabs. And we're going to start with the four blocks. And the first one we're going to use is just here. We're going to bring it all the way across and join it to the roof on the opposite side. Now, we're going to go ahead and use slabs across the next two, bringing it down. So we add slabs all the way across and then again from here. Now at this point, we just kind of want to repeat the process on all of our roofs. So again, we're going to use the four blocks where we can. And then the slabs in the gap. Now before we fill this area in here, we're going to go ahead and do this big main roof first. So let's go ahead and we're going to get our four blocks and bring it all the way across here. Add in your slabs and then repeat the process over the top of the roof and then down the opposite side as well. Make sure you fill this last one here with just a slab by the edge of the roof. This just gives us a nice little sunken edge underneath. Now for this part here, we're going to go ahead, bring in our slabs all the way over here. To finish up our roof, we're going to come over to this side. We're going to add some slabs all the way across here with another row of slabs just in front. We're then going to use our four blocks again, bringing it over to that same point just here. We'll do the same at the back here with some four blocks, bringing it all the way over to there. And then finally, some slabs just in at this point. Now we're just going to add in our last roof on this side by our door, adding in our slabs and then our four blocks. And then our slabs again, just creeping under that edge of the roof just there. Then in this point here, we're going to go ahead and we're placing four blocks. We should just about be able to squeeze them under there. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and use a slab, bring it all the way across to here. And then again on this side, we're just going to repeat exactly what we've done on the opposite side. At the back of the build, we're just going to finish off this last little piece of the roof here. So we're going to go to the third block in, place three four blocks here. We're going to have three slabs and then three more slabs on this one. Then we can just about squeeze in here, place three four blocks on that top one and then three slabs just underneath like so. Now to complete the inside here, because we've got these big open areas, we're going to start by grabbing our dark oak planks and just fill in these little gaps on the first small roof, just on the inside here. Just like so. Then across this one here, what we want to do is make sure that we come from where the pillar is. As you can see, we've got the pillar there. So we're going to go ahead and place one block here. Leave a one block gap, place two, and then another one block gap, place three one block gap, place three. And then from the inside here, we can just bring two down on this corner here. Okay, and that lines up nicely where we want it to. 
On the opposite side, we're going to basically do the same thing and it'll be in the same spot. So we're going to add one, two, three, three, and two. Then with our spruce planks, we're just going to go ahead and fill in all of those gaps in between. Up here in the center of the roof, you will need to fill that last one in there with just a slab. So go ahead, place a slab there and fill the rest with the planks. Make sure you catch this one here because we have a one or halfway block gap just there. And make sure you get it on the opposite side as well. Next, we're going to add a few finishing details to the build. First of all, let's head over to this side here and we're going to start by placing a two block log sticking out and then one here and then on every other block all the way across to there. And then we're going to go ahead and just place in a blackstone button across these four here. We're going to get our spruce fence and we're going to bring it up from the corner here connecting to this little bit of the pillar here. And if you wanted to, just for a little bit of detail, you can go ahead and just bring some slabs all the way across there and put a full block in that corner because you can't quite fit another slab. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a chain just underneath here with a lantern just there. And on this one here, we're going to go ahead and place a chain there and a chain there with a lantern underneath each of those. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and just grab a slab. we we'll put two slabs here, two slabs here and two slabs just here. On the roof underneath here, we'll do the same, two slabs on all the little gaps, just to make sure that we have that all filled in. And then at the center point here, we're going to just go ahead and just put in the spruce slabs just in that gap. And there we go, that's starting to really shape up now. Now over here, we are going to add a chain just there, and we're going to add another one just here underneath it now you might only be able to do this on java i'm not sure if you can do this on bedrock but place a flower pot here and without falling down place another job another flower pot just here with a fern just inside it because it looks like a nice little flower hanging pot if you want it to be a little bit further down you can do i think it might look a little bit better if we bring it down by one so let's do the same thing There we go. I think that looks a little bit nicer hanging down like that. And there we go. It's really starting to shape up nicely here now. Now, if you wanted to add some details in here, you can. You can go ahead, add some flower pots, place some ferns in there or some flowers of your choice. And that's looking pretty good. On the edges here, we're going to go around and just add some little beams like this or some little pillars. And we're going to add some stairs on top like so. We're going to do that pretty much around most of the sides except for the entrance i just want it on the one side on the entrance i think it just looks nicer so we're just going to go around and do this and then on this side we're only going to put it on the side where the door is like so i just think it looks a little bit much when you place it there let's continue all the way around the build placing it in making sure your stairs face in towards your pillars Now that's starting to look pretty good. If we head round to the back, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing that we've done on the front. So let's add pillars or uh, little beams sticking out all the way across to this point. And we're going to go ahead and place a, a blackstone button on each of those ones that we can. And then finally, just underneath this little roof here, let's go ahead and we're going to place a slab here, here, in the middle there, and then all the way down to this point here. Perfect. Make sure you don't miss this area at the front of the build here. So we're going to go ahead and where we've got a pillar, we're going to put one here, one here, one here. And again, we're going to use our spruce planks in those gaps. And we're going to go ahead, get our logs, and we're going to just bring them out across these ones like so. And we can add a dark blackstone button on the front. Now, it's up to you what you want to do here. I don't like to add too much line to the front. So I think I'm going to just place a chain there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our lantern just underneath like so. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, just the last few finishing touches. So first of all, at the very front here where we've got this balcony, underneath here, we want to go ahead and place a slab on every other block like so. 
Then place some trapdoors in the gaps just behind this little um, planter here, just to give it a little bit more detail. Then we're going to add a few barrels, I think something kind of along these lines. Like so, we put an extra one just here. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we put a stone cutter on that one and we go ahead, grab ourselves another lantern again and place a lantern just there. Just for a little bit of a work area just outside. Now heading up to the roof, we're going to go ahead and put in a chimney just here. Now what we're going to do from the center point here, you want to count one, two, three. Leave that first one, two blocks. And on that third one, we're going to break that and place a stone, uh, a brick just like this. Place another one just here, one here, and one here. We can work the chimney out for the inside a bit later on, but for now, we're just going to do that. Now, we're going to go ahead and raise this by one, two, and I think we're just going to raise it by two, actually, like so. And you can texture it with some granite if you wish, just to give it a little bit more of a kind of worn look, something a bit like this. Place a temporary block in the middle, and then place some upside down stairs all the way around. Break the one in the middle, place in a campfire, some andesite walls on top of these. And just to finish it off, I think it looks pretty nice if we get ourselves a smooth stone slab. And we can go ahead and put those just on top. And it just gives us a nice little finishing chimney. I think that looks really nice. Next, let's make a start on the interior. Now the interior is going to be pretty simple in here. So we're going to start by adding a pillar just on the corner here with our dark oak logs or our stripped dark oak logs. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to do a pillar just over here like so. And then we're going to leave a one block gap. We put another pillar just here and then opposite side here. We're going to do another pillar like so. Okay, just like this. Now with the dark oak planks, we're going to go ahead, fill all the way around here, up to the ceiling, around the window, and then all the way back in this gap here. We're going to bring one row across and all the way down, and then just fill this gap in here. We'll fill this gap in here all the way up to the wall. Let's fill this one down here, all the way over. Perfect. Now over in this corner here, we're going to do the same thing. Just fill this bit all the way up like so. And I think that is about it with the dark oak planks for the moment. Next, we're going to grab our brick stairs. So we're going to place one here, one here. Then we're going to place in a campfire, a stair here, a stair here, and then just finish up two in the corner like so to create a nice little fireplace. Next, we're going to add a stairway in this little area here. But first of all, we're going to actually get rid of this pillar here because we don't actually need that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this one block gap here and add two stairs here, two stairs here. And we're just going to bring it all the way up like so. We'll break these two, the ones in front and all the way back till we have. Uh, oops, let's leave that one there. So we want just the one left and then bring it all the way to here. So we should have one block at the very top here and this little one gap over here. But we should be able to get an upside down stair and be able to walk around it. That's perfect. Now coming back down here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put upside down stairs like this all the way to this point here and turn that one to the side. Perfect. And then what we do is we're just going to fill any block across the bottom at the back here and then upside down stairs all the way across like so. Using your trap doors, we're going to go ahead and put them on the stairs just here. And then from the other side, we're going to go ahead and place one just on the top. At the very top of the stairs here, we're going to place one, two, three, like so. And I think we're just going to leave it like that for now. We'll come back to that in just a minute. To finish off the stairs, we're just going to add some barrels just underneath here. And we have access to them, as you can see. The top stair here, actually, we're going to turn it sideways. That will just give us access to that last one at the very top. Perfect. Now, over in this corner here, let's go ahead and place a smithing table there. I think we're going to add a cartography table here. 
add some stairs there. Or actually, we could go ahead and use the spruce ones here. Just to break it up against the wall there. We'll go ahead. We'll put in a grindstone just there. A couple of trapdoors there. Make sure they're on the top half of this bottom block. And not on the bottom half of the lower the block above. Let's go ahead and place that there. And I think that's looking pretty good. We'll grab a barrel. I think we'll place a barrel just there. And yeah, I think that's looking good. Let's go ahead and place some of our composters. We'll put some leaves on top like so. And to finish it off, we're going to add a couple of upside down stairs here. A lever here. I think we'll put a lantern in the corner and then a stone cutter just on top of that little shelf there for a nice little work area just here. By the fireplace here, we're going to add a little table. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to make another row of three. Add two of your dark oak trapdoors just here. We'll add one, two seats, both with some dark oak trapdoors behind them. We'll get rid of that torch. Let's place a pot of flowers at the back. And I think maybe we'll get another one of these. And we could put it just in front for where the people are going to sit to eat their dinner. And I think that looks really nice. Maybe we could go ahead and just put a little lantern over the back there just to give a little bit of extra lighting. But I don't think we really need it. I feel like we need something over here. So we're going to add in a barrel. We'll put in a campfire on top and we'll put it out. And that can look like a bit of firewood for the fire. Now, over here, we're going to... Ooh, let's see. We're going to leave a two-block gap, I think. One, two, three, four, like so. We'll leave a two-block gap again here. Bring that all the way to the ceiling. I think we're going to add a little table like this with two of the dark oak stairs. Just like so. Let's get our spruce and we're going to fill in a wall with some spruce planks at the back here. Make sure you fill in all the gaps. And I think we're going to do the same down here as well, all the way across the back here. Now, with that being said, I think we're going to add two rows of bookshelves all the way around. Just like so. That should give us a level 30 enchantment. We'll place a anvil up there. A crafting table there. Maybe a barrel there. A barrel there. And I think that will probably do. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. That will do the job. Now with that being said. I think we can also go ahead and place a lantern here. We can get rid of this one. And we can go ahead and get rid of this one. We'll place one right in the center there to light that up. Now, to finish off this floor, I think we're going to go ahead and place a barrel there. We're going to crouch and place a tripwire hook on there because it makes it look like a bit of a keg. We'll add a flower pot there. A flower pot here with some flowers in it. Let's put down a stone pressure plate just there for a little bit of detail. And then I think we'll put some upside down stairs here. And another two just here. Just a section off this little area here. And yeah, I think what we'll do is just add a few little leaves like this kind of um just around in here just to make it feel a little bit different i think maybe that's a bit too much maybe yeah maybe something like that i think that looks pretty good but i might add a little flower pot just in here a flower in it as well to add a little bit of extra color enchantment table can go down there and yeah, I think that's actually starting to really look nice. Yeah, that's starting to shape up. Now, if you want to, you could use your trap doors and just add like a, what would look a little bit like some beams coming across the roof. Something like this on every other block. Bring it all the way from one side to the other. Over here where the stairs are, because we can't get a gap there, maybe we could just put a little beam connecting like that. Just give it a little bit of a sort of supported look. I think that makes it look really nice. Okay, let's start on the upstairs. So where we've got this door over here, we want to section this area here. So let's put a pillar up about here, all the way to the ceiling. 
And then I guess we'll do this one here. So let's break this little bit of the wall out here. Like so. We'll place a pillar all the way down from there. Leave a two block gap. And then we're just going to make a wall over here all the way. About four blocks high in total. And yeah, I think we're going to bring that over like that. And I guess we'll just put some upside down stairs there. And we'll bring this pillar all the way across, I think, like so. Yeah, in fact, we're going to also bring it out by an extra one just here. And what's behind there? Nothing, nothing. And nothing behind that one. Okay, so let's get those out of the way. Now, I think we're going to add in an upside down stair on each side here to give this a bit of detail. And what we'll do is replace that one with one facing upwards. And then every other block. Hmm. Okay, not every other block. So we have to do it like this. And then what we do is we just fill the gap with the spruce planks. We do two in the center there and that just there. Right. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Over here, we're going to just fill this wall. So let's go ahead, extend all of this wall with the dark oak planks. So that we have the window just here. Do the same all the way down here and then upside down stairs at the top there. Or we could actually just do it there and put the planks above. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, right. Let's work out the ceiling. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do this wall here. So for here, as you can see, we've got the same kind of matching style with the wall here. So what I'm going to do is just bring it out. Because we've got our glass there, we want to extend to the wall. It will minimize the amount of room, but it's, you know, it's going to make it look nicer in the long run. Add some stairs, bring our pillar all the way over. And then just replicate what we can see on the wall behind. So let's go ahead and bring our pillars down. And here we're going to just do that, I think. And then every other block, go ahead and fill in with the planks. Now, for the ceiling, I'm going to try and keep this simple as I can. So, I think we're going to go with some stairs, some full blocks, some slabs. Then, we're going to go full blocks, slabs, and then two rows of full blocks in here. Just to finish off the ceiling. I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, for the ceiling inside here, I've added some torches up there for the moment. And I think we're going to do something a little bit different here. What we can do is get rid of these. We're going to put some full blocks in here with some stairs all the way across. Okay. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Stairs all the way across. Then we're going to place in some full blocks. Skip one block, we're going to fill all of this little two block area, I think it is. Yeah, two blocks area, we're going to fill with the planks. And then we're going to fill this one here. And we can fill the one behind it if you want to. All the way to there. Using the slabs, we can go ahead and just add a row all the way down here. And a row all the way down here. Yeah, and that keeps the roof looking pretty even all the way out. So this looks pretty nice. I like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually make a little balcony here. So I think what I'm going to do is from this one here that sticks out, we're going to break that, bring it all the way over to, to this one. Then we're going to bring it all the way over being careful here. So once we get to those four blocks, and actually we're bring keep that there, and we'll bring up a little two block high pillar here. Keep that there, little two block high pillar there. And then we're going to break one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Break out all of this that's underneath and these ones just here. I do apologize for breaking it, guys, but I uh, kind of forgot that we had a little balcony here before that I wanted to do. So we'll leave that there. Let's break that. Bring this pillar all the way up to the top of the roof. Breaking that pillar just there. We'll also do this one here. 
Perfect. And then if we get rid of this, we can go ahead and just change it up for some dark oak. And then we can bring in the beam all the way over like this. And then I think at the very top here, we're just going to bring some spruce over like this. Or should we do the dark oak? Maybe it'll work better with dark oak because we've already got dark oak on the ceiling at this point. So we do those three, those three. And then I guess right through the center here, we're going to do that. And then we'll go one, two, and... Maybe we just put some dark oak planks behind it like this. And then I think just to finish it off, we're going to get some dark oak trap doors. And we're just going to place three of them in there, three of them there. There we go, just to give us a little bit of an arch. Now grab your oak trap doors. And what we're going to do here is, yeah, we'll go, okay. So, start off by getting your spruce stairs. Break one around that edge there. So, it should be basically from pillar to pillar edge. Okay, just inside. Two there, two here. And then bring your stairs all the way across. And then this last little rim here. We'll actually get rid of those. We'll leave them ones as they are. And then that way, that gives us a little bit of a walk area. Add in a trapdoor there, trapdoor there. We can place some temporary trapdoors here and then place some on top. Perfect. And I think just to finish to give us a little bit of light up here, we need to get some torches or some lanterns rather. And I think we'll put one right about there. Excellent. Now over here, place three barrels right next to what's going to be our little bedroom door. We'll grab our doors and we can go, I think, from the inside and place two doors like so. Excellent. Okay, and then over here, we're just going to add, I think, probably from the inside, actually, place two and then two trap doors and then break those ones underneath. There we go. Now we've got our layout and this is actually looking quite smart. I really like the look of this. And we're going to have our bedroom just in here. So for the bedroom here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place down a campfire. And we're going to do what we've done downstairs. So we're going to add a little campfire or a little uh, fireplace rather just into this corner like so, which looks perfect. Let's place a barrel just there. Then I think what we're going to do is we're going to get our trap doors. We're going to place... From the corner here, so we've got one and two on that second one. Place one and then jump and you should be able to crouch or shift click. And you can go ahead and place your trap doors going all the way up. We'll place a door and a door. Break that one. Make sure they face together. Excellent. And that's on the outside. So what we're going to do here is place a trap door. Bring it down by three. We'll place two just here like this. And then that stair there, we're going to break it and break the one behind it and then curve it. See? So now it hides off that corner and we've got a little cupboard to put some things in if we want to. Let's place two beds like this. And one, two, and we'll put three barrels, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. In fact, break those beds. Let's put some wall and then the beds. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get our trap doors. And we can place two trap doors on the end and two trap doors up there. Yeah, that's looking good. And then let's give ourselves a nice little shelf just up here, I think. Just for a little bit of detail. Uh, maybe even over here we can have... Let's have a barrel just on the corner. And we'll have a little, little cabinet. Just like so. Okay, to finish the bedroom, I think we're going to add a little lantern just there. We'll add a flower pot on here with some flowers. Uh, maybe we could add some sea pickles. I think over here, we're going to go ahead and put a couple of candles on here, which I do keep forgetting that we have the candles. 
And then I think maybe we could change that for a composter with a little bush on top. Um, honestly, I don't think we really particularly need much more. This should light the room up plenty. Maybe we could put in hmm, put a couple of these over here, maybe. And maybe you could put some paintings up if you want to or hang some lanterns from the ceiling just for a little bit of extra detail. But I think that's looking good. Now, out here, we don't really need too much. I think we're going to start by adding in a lantern just there. And maybe we'll put in some sea pickles just there. Okay, I think over here, we're going to add a nice little desk. So I think we can go ahead and put in that just there. We can go ahead and put in some of these just going around the edge there. We'll put in one of those. There we go, got a nice little seat. Let's put down a book. We can put a pot just there. Maybe one of those. Um, maybe actually a little shelf. And then we'll put the lantern on top of the shelf. Maybe a little flower pot up there. We can put a flower in. In the corner here, let's add ourselves a little bush. We've got a nice little working area. Now, it's a little bit dark, Pops. Well, saying that, we've got a few lanterns in here. I think this would actually be bright enough, to be honest. Let's go ahead and put another little one of these in the corner here, just for a little bit of detail. It looks a bit dark up here. Let's add a lantern there. Maybe a lantern there, and then maybe we could get rid of that one, because we don't need to cover too many. Yeah. And I think that will do, guys. We've got a nice little bedroom. We've got a little cupboard with storage two fireplaces and if we come downstairs we've got ourselves a, a nice little eating area we've got the little enchantment room and yeah this is looking pretty good as always thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like button and leave me some feedback in the comments below and i'll catch you in the next one